I'm Greg, and welcome to create an interface using drag and drop design components. In this video, I will create an interface with drag and drop components using great UX designs as inspiration. After this video, you'll be able to create your own interfaces using inspiration from the world around you. Let's get started. All right, so to get started, we first need to find our inspiration. Now, your inspiration can come from anywhere, websites you visit every day, applications you use all the time. But our inspiration is going to come from the sale design site here at Appian. Now, there's so many different incredible dashboards and reports and interfaces and forms that you can find on here and find inspiration. In fact, if you find something that you like, like the sustainability dashboard, as an example, you can actually just scroll down and then there's the expression. Just copy the expression, paste it in your own interface, and you can have incredible UX design in seconds. But of course, not every website you go to is going to have the appy and expression language ready to go for you. So let's act as if we don't see this, right? How would I go about recreating this interface in Appian if it wasn't Appian, right? Now, when looking at this, I'm seeing how everything is structured, how things are different, how things are laid out. And I'm noticing that we have big text, we have small text, we got an image over there on the right hand side, we got some drop downs right there in the middle. And of course, we also have the cards down at the bottom, which is great creating this grouping of important information and data. And then it's presented in a way that makes it obvious, right? We got the cards that are nice white, almost as if they're popping off of this screen with that kind of grayish background. So when we recreate this, we want to focus on how do we get that upper section, which is all one color. Notice how the color reaches the edges of the screen. How do we get that middle portion with a nice darker color, creating that separation from the upper and lower areas? And then how do we create the cards at the bottom? So let's focus on that. We need to get to an interface designer. So here we are, we're in a, we're in a blank interface designer and we first need to get that layout that allows me to have an upper and lower portion of the interface. And I'm gonna grab a top level layout card header. I'm gonna drag that in. And you'll notice how the card layout already has, how the header content layout already has a card layout at the top and has this bottom portion of the component. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color, the background color of the header content layout, which is essentially the entire interface. And we're gonna change it to a predefined color transparent. So now you'll notice the interface kind of disappears, but it's still there and it will become more obvious later when we start incorporating cards for that lower portion. Now this upper portion, we have a card layout. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna change the color of that card layout to a greenish color. Meh, maybe, maybe a little bit lighter than that. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Maybe we make it lighter. Maybe we make it a very specific hex color. Who knows? This works uh, for our purposes, right? You could also make it just branding colors as well. All right, now this upper portion had two different areas. It had an image on the right, and it had the data on the left, right? It had the prominent title, and then it had those three KPIs, and then it had that image on the right. So we wanna create kind of a two column layout where the image can be on the right and the data can be on the left. So I'm gonna drag in a columns layout, plop it right there into the card. I got three columns, I don't need that. I'm gonna get rid of one of them. And it doesn't really matter which one you get rid of. But this first column layout, I want it to be whiter. So all I'm gonna do is click on that column layout and then over here on the width, I'm gonna change the fixed width to medium plus. Nope, that didn't really do anything. Let's take a look at wide. Wide is looking good, but I want it to be wider than that, but I probably don't want wide plus. Okay, that's really wide. So if I change it to relative width, maybe just make it 2x, yeah, that's fine. I think that's fine. Okay, now this right column will be for an image one day. 
right? But for now, I just want the left side to be structured where you have a prominent title and then the three KPIs. So first we need that prominent title. So I'm gonna scroll down to our component rich text, drag it into that first column. So that's gonna be for the title. And then below that, there's gonna be three columns for our KPIs. So I'm gonna drag in another columns layout just below that rich text. That's gonna be for our three KPIs. But importantly, if I look over here in the component configuration, I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit and hit show dividers down there at the bottom right. So you can barely see it right now, but there is this faint line that's creating separation between each column, right? So that's gonna be a nice visual addition uh, into uh, how we split the data for our users. Okay, now if I go back to that first rich text, I wanna go ahead and edit that. So I'm gonna click it, go to my component configuration over here, and then type in a title, prominent title. Sounds good, why not? Now I want title to be bold. I also want it to be dark green, a nice little design element, but I also want the entire thing to be much larger, large text. Cool, looks good. All right, now below that we have the three columns and inside those three columns, we had a label, an icon, and then the actual value for the KPI, and then like some small text on, uh, to the right of it. So for that, I'm gonna bring in a rich text component for the label, right? And then I'm gonna bring in um, an icon, I'm gonna bring in some additional text, but I'm gonna do all of that inside the rich text editor. So one rich text component, and then over here in the editor, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest. So first I need the label. So I'll just call it label. I'm gonna be very specific here, label, nice. All right, and I'm gonna make label bolded and medium text. Now in the editor tool, I'm just gonna hit return on my keyboard and then add the rest. So underneath the label will be an icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that icon over there. And we're gonna go ahead and choose cloud. Sure, insert. I'll also add some text. Now this text will be placeholder. This will be changed later when I wanna start incorporating my own data into it. And then I'll also just put some identifier text to the right of it, right? It doesn't really matter what it is. We'll change it later when we adapt it to our use case. All right, but I do know that I want all of this to be much larger, right? I want the icon, I want the value, I want the text to be much larger. So I'm gonna highlight that, go to my big T, little t, and then change it to large text. Yeah, large text works, uh, but text at the end, I don't want it to be that big. So I'm gonna highlight just that and go that back to standard text and maybe make it unbolded. Yeah, great. And the icon, you know what? Let's change that color too. So I'm gonna select the icon and then we'll change it to a, a nice dark green. Awesome. Okay, great. Now I've done this for the first KPI and I essentially wanna do it the exact same way for the other KPIs. Now we can make that simple by just clicking on this nice down arrow next to rich text component right there on the canvas and duplicate, right? And duplicate and then drag and then drag. Boom. Now we have our prominent title in our three KPIs at the top. Now there was one additional element that we missed. So if I flip back to our inspiration, I have that line, that separator line between the top and the bottom, right? Between the prominent title and the KPIs here. Well, that's actually just another rich text item, rich text component. So let's go ahead and drag that rich text component in. And in the editor, we're just gonna do a whole bunch of underscores, a whole bunch of underscores, right? You'll see how it comes to life on the canvas. There we go. Now maybe we change the color, maybe we change the size, who knows? But for now, we got a nice separation between the prominent title and the KPIs. Okay, 
Now that middle section is just going to be another card layout. So I'll take a card and I'll bring it just below that upper area. Now this card layout is going to have a much darker color to it. So I brought in the card layout. I'm going to come over here to use a custom color and let's make it dark green. Ooh, that is dark. Maybe not that dark. Okay, sure. Why not? All right. So we got this upper area and then we got this nice defined middle portion that's creating a split between the data at the top and the data that's going to be below. And inside that card layout, we had three drop downs. Not only drop downs, but we also had icons with those drop downs. Now, those drop downs were organized in a very specific way. We had a drop down on the left. And then we had nothing in the middle. And then we had drop downs on the right. But if I flip back, you'll notice how they're organized, right? So you can see the width of this drop down, and there's the icon, right? You see the width of this drop down. And then there's nothing, 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 nothing. And then we have two drop downs directly next to each other. So that can be a little tricky to achieve, but let's see how we do. So in this card layout, I'm going to bring in some columns. So I'm going to bring in a column layout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two more columns, two more columns. All right, so now we have the two additional columns here. And when we are configuring these column layouts, it kind of provides the width for us, but we can play with it a little bit more through the component configuration for the column layout. Now we may need to do that. We may not. We'll have to see how everything looks, but we have five columns and you'll notice how wide they are. It looks about correct for how, how wide we want things to be. And now we'll bring in some drop downs. So a drop down for the first one, a drop down for the, the fifth column and the sixth column, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Inside this drop down, we don't need the label. And I'm also going to do a hidden label position because you'll notice there's a very faint green smidge, a little, a little green line right here that I don't really need. So if I change label position to hidden, that goes away. It lifts the drop down up just a little bit more and just looks a little bit nicer. So I can also just duplicate. Right, bring it over and then just do that whole duplicate again. You can also use keyboard shortcuts if you want. Now this first drop down actually has an icon to the left of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate a side by side layout. So in that first column, I'm going to bring in a side by side. Let's go ahead and put that drop down in the side by side. And then I'm also going to bring in a rich text to the left of my dropdown. And then in my component configuration tool over here, I'll add that icon. So this icon will be calendar. I think calendar will look good. Let's go ahead and make this, uh, we'll keep the color, we'll keep the color. Maybe make it a little bit bigger though. Sure, looks good. But also you'll notice how much space that one icon is taking up. Even though the icon itself is a nice little square, it has this much larger portion to the right of it and we don't need all that. So if I scroll up in my component configuration, I'm going to change the width to use only as much space as necessary. Brings it in. And I can also bring that icon down so it's more centered along the dropdown by going down in my component configuration and adjusting the margin above or margin below. Now margin above, I'll change that to even less. All right, now it looks a little bit more centered. Now I can just do the exact same thing for the other dropdowns and get that icon over there as well. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is we need to get that bottom portion where we have three columns and inside those three columns, we have a label, a card, a label, a card, right? So let's bring in those column layouts. All right, great. So we got the three columns. Now again, inside those columns, we're gonna have a rich text for a label, and then we have a card, right? Rich text for a label, 
and then we have a card. Now, when we bring these in, I'm gonna make my life simple and I'm just gonna do the first one and then I'm gonna duplicate it for the other two. So starting off with this first rich text, this is gonna be a label. So again, very unique label. Label, love it. All right, change it to medium text. We want the text to be consistent throughout the interface. There's the label. Now the card layout, I want the style of the card layout to be none, right? So that creates nice white, but also I want to add shadow, right? Show shadow. Shadow is what's gonna allow it to pop off the screen. Okay, now this next rich text, same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and into the editor and do label. This label will be bold, medium text, keeping it consistent. And then the card layout, exact same thing. We're gonna change the style to none and give it a shadow. Now inside that card layout, I can bring in another rich text item to do the exact same thing we did with the KPIs at the top, create placeholders. I can bring in additional charts and graphs and different ways to show that data. But for now, all I'm going to do is get back to that column layout and then we'll duplicate, right? Duplicate. All right, now that I've duplicated that, I don't need those other two column layout anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete each one. All right, and that's it. So if I click on preview, here is our recreated version from our inspiration. And it's pretty darn close. If we spent a little bit more time kind of tweaking some things, adding some additional values, creating some additional spaces, right? We'll have an incredible interface to use for our use case or any use case that fits this style. And that's it. We have been able to create an interface using drag and drop design components to mimic a great UX design. We encourage you to continue exploring and learning through our sale design site and find inspiration for your projects. Of course, don't forget about our other great courses at Academy Online including our UX design and Appian course. And finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to see more videos like this one.